it's been a minute since I've reacted to 911 Lone Star. I am extremely behind, very, very behind. Uh, this is season three, episode six, and it's titled ATX Files. Um, just kind of reminds me of X Files. That's about it. So I, I don't know if this is going to be like an alien kind of thing or what, but I'm just going to jump right into it. I've, I'm, ugh, I, I need to catch up. <laughs> so let's go. Caleb, are you finally going to tell me what we're doing here? It might be a moonlight picnic. I've seen her before Again. in something. I can't remember <laughs> what show she's been That's on. That's sweet. I know I haven't always been there for you. Like, a prom when I accidentally took a limo home without you, or that time I was late to your sister's wedding. We had the wrong week. Or in the tornado when I hid my dad's gun safe. Ken left me to die. Oh, but I promise things are going to be different. Oh, hell no. She needs to leave him. I'm never going to leave you hanging again. I swear. Nope. Caleb, what was that? And there he goes. He's going to get in the ATV and he's gone. Holy crap. What are those? <laughs> Alien! And he's gone. Look at him. And he's gone. Caleb, damn it! Caleb, you little bitch! Caleb! Seriously? Yeah, she needs to leave his ass. Hell no. Oh, shit! That's barbed wire. Oh, wait. Was that like an ele electricity barbed wire? Good. Here, Caleb. Brianna, His ass yes. deserves that. You didn't get abducted? No, no thanks to you. Uh, Caleb, oh Caleb, I'm Tommy. God. I need you to stop moving so happen. that we can take a look at you, okay? Those bars are in there deep. He's lost a fair amount of blood. Frankly, it's a miracle that he hasn't torn it up. Oh my God, that is so bad. I want to talk to you about those beings that you saw. Your girlfriend said that they were blue and glowing? Yeah, like uh, Smurfs, but uh, taller. Like Avatar? <laughs> I, I, I didn't see a tail. What you saw were called Cobalts. They're harmless civilization builders. In fact, they're the ones that Eisenhower made the pact with in order to gain the advanced technology. I think he's just like telling them all this crap just to calm them down. Unless he actually believes in this. Believe me when I tell you, the creatures you encountered came in peace. For real? For real. Now, you think you can just relax and hold still so we can get you out? Yeah. Uh, Oh. Any more cuts? Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, that one's choking, boy. Okay, last one. Careful what you hands, Paul. All right, son, we're about to bring you down. But unlike you, Caleb, I don't abandon people. <laughs> I got to say, that was pretty clever, Cap. Yeah, the way you were able to calm that kid down with your alien BS. Oh, it's not BS. It's true. Google it. Cap, you're not saying you believe in aliens. Who do you think built the pyramids? <laughs> the Egyptians. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I don't know why, but for some reason, this feels like a Halloween episode. Listen, you might be putting a little too much pressure on this visit. I already let this kid down for the first 17 years of his life. Baby, you didn't know you had a son until last week. Wait, so it is oh, Judd's? He has a father now, Judd. All of those scars are going to heal. Here you go. That's brisket. I know it's a little bit dry. But <laughs> if you want to. Put some barbecue sauce or whatever on. Oh, it's okay, I don't eat it. That's my boy. He's vegan. The meat. He's vegan. <laughs> oh, you don't eat meat? Or, wait, is it vegetarian? Like, ever? No, he's a vegan. No, I think I got it right. I'm vegan, actually. Yeah, I got it right. Uh, <laughs> honey, I am so sorry. I did not know. Oh, no, it's my fault. I, I, I should have said something. Oh, damn it. What's wrong? The whole weekend I planned with why it's ruined is what's wrong. What do you mean? I'm sure it's not. Tomorrow I was going to take you deer hunting. <laughs> How about you just move up what you have for something? It's bass fishing. <laughs> huh? Okay, yeah, that's uh, it's not going to work either. What else are you into? Uh, I like making TikToks, um, <laughs> play a lot of magic. They are complete That's cool. opposites. That's cool. Like you do card tricks and rabbits from the hat and all that? No, it's it's Magic the Gathering. It's like a fantasy-based tabletop card game. I'm sorry, I'm kind of weird. Oh, Magic, isn't that those those deck cards? You like aliens? <laughs> aliens. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to believe. 
believe 10 months have passed since wow. Charles died. It's been that long? He's gone. And I'm still here. And I don't know how I feel about it. Our house is haunted. <laughs> Our house is not haunted. The lights were flickering, so you think we have ghosts? Not just flickering. They did it in a pattern. Like one time, four times, three times, over and over. I wonder, she, she looks like she knows what it is. I felt like this definitely would have been a really good Halloween episode. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, that's Morse code. Is it? Charles. Oh, damn. My mind went like somebody was having an emergency. And that's the only way they were able to contact them. I didn't think it was going to get to that point where it's like his spirit is there talking to him. Or them. It's, uh, it's come to my attention recently that uh, I have a son. As in? As in a masculine child. As in a second child, other than your newborn baby daughter. Yeah. Damn, a week has passed by and nobody knew? So I was hoping that you might take Wyatt and I on a little uh, extraterrestrial spotting excursion. All right, we'll do it. When I left my ex, Julian, he said that he would ruin my life. <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna like this episode. Accepting is sucking my life force. To me, like, uh, I don't know. I this episode's not for me. Liza, are you all right? I, 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 oh, what the I, hell? I, Dude, that was nasty. The darkness is consuming her spirit. Also tentacles. Tentacles? Oh, tentacles. Please just cut it out of me. Please, I can't. Right. It has to be like a tapeworm. It looks like a tapeworm. Little tug. Oh my god. <coughs> oh. Oh. Uh, what is that? Uh, worm is transmitted through feces. What do you mean? Oh. Barf bag. Oh. Get it all out. <coughs> Cap, Liza. <coughs> Liza, are you okay? Please. Yeah, at first it was a worm. Now it's, she can't breathe. You can. Oh, don't tell me she has like a farm in there. Oh my god. We got her back. Oh my god. The darkness came over me, but I fought back back to the light. The curse has been lifted. No, it's because of the stuff you ate. We're downwind of it. We've got good cover and an unobstructed eye line. I think this is a good place to set up our observation post. He's a vegan. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I tried to go vegan for a while, but uh, a man can only eat so many beans. Well, you'd be amazed with what they could do with heme nowadays. It's funny you say that. I've been thinking about heme. You need to eat some more things with heme in it. You should do it, for sure. Heme's like a game changer. It seems like they have more in common than Judd. It's the stuff that makes uh, veggie burgers bleed. I've tried veggie burgers before. They're gross. Well, at least the one I tried. Oh, he's going to see something. Hey, Tap! Wow. You might bring that Geiger counter over here. You think this is the work of one of your little green men? No, I don't. Hey, we gotta back up! Come on! What? Now, what was your emergency? Hey, baby, it's me. We got a problem. What? Right away, he picked up Grace. Next time, try not to set up your Rini Rose near a hot zone. Oh, that's the question, isn't it? Where did that radiation come from? Somebody's doing some illegal dumping. It, it has to be some illegal dumping. Tommy? Got it. Sir, can you hear me? Oh my God. Radiation burns. How the hell did that happen? We're here to help. I have a patient here with acute radiation syndrome. I think that's cesium chloride. Close proximity to this can kill you in a few days. Is that why they were blue? What is that? I know one way to find out. 
<laughs> oh my god. Damn. What? Holy crap. It's an air. So that's what they saw. Aliens. <laughs> no, no. We should sleep it off. Damn. Okay. The superstitious, superstitious stuff was. Uh, this this part is good. Send me a photo. I'm gonna try to get you a name and an address. Grace, you gotta hurry. Because I've seen what this stuff can do up close if that gift changes hands. My name is Grace. I'm calling Our from Austin. Experiencing a high volume of calls right now, so please hold, <laughs> and someone will be with you shortly. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course they would play that song. What do you think is going to happen to the two of you when I make a TikTok out of this call and the entire <laughs> world hears that neither Gloria nor Dan lifted a finger to help prevent a mass casualty event? Do you think anybody is going to care that you were just following corporate policy, Gloria? Her name is Beverly Gordon. <laughs> Man, you throw TikTok in there, it's over. Sorry for the interruption, but you all have to evacuate. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, are we safe? Yes, you should be fine. We just need to strip you down for decon, just to be sure. Your birthday? Yes. Happy birthday. Uh, oh. Thank you. Please. It's going to be memorable. So I actually thought the flickering was part of the radiation stuff. I guess I was wrong on that. This is the best weekend of my life because of you. What are you talking about? I've always wanted to go camping with my dad. Oh, yeah. His expectations are too high. I guess we're really doing this, husband. Is he going to make an appearance? Charles, if you're here with me right now, could you give me a sign? Could you make the lights flicker? I blame you. You couldn't catch one lousy mouse? <laughs> this is gonna turn back on. It turned back on, didn't it? Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> that was crazy. And that's it. All right. So this episode, it wasn't all that. I, I, I think just Captain Vega's performance was good. That that was probably the most memorable thing. Judd trying to connect with his son, which I actually didn't think it was going to be his son. When they mentioned the brother, I actually thought it was going to be the brothers. But a week has passed by. I guess it actually is his son. And Grace accepted it. like. She's she's cool with it now, so but it, the part that was actually funny is that they have nothing in common, nothing. But I'm I'm pretty sure maybe if he continues to show up, they're gonna end up having something in common. They're like, oh, you do that, oh, I do that too. Who knows? I don't know. But uh, the the beginning episode or the beginning of the episode was pretty good. But the, she definitely needs to leave that guy. Definitely for for him constantly belling on her in, in that kind of way. Yeah, definitely needs to leave him. But the fact that he was actually just caught up with something like this. I think I think I heard their ship. No, baby, I think you heard the fire truck. I just think that so. that was crazy. It it was nasty whenever they started actually taking off the barbed wire, and you can see it actually tugged on his skin. That was very, very graphic. Um, I think the other next scene that I actually do remember was when that girl had worms coming out of her. And I actually thought they were tapeworms, but I think she called them brown worms, which I don't know if they're kind of the same thing. But that was actually nasty. This part right here. Ah. Right here. Oh, God. <laughs> That was nasty. And then Captain Vega. You can see the worms right there. Captain Vega. Starts pulling them out. 
dude, that made me cringe so bad. And then she ended up putting the tube down her throat. And I was like, man, there's probably a farm in there. And that is exactly what happened. So many of them just coming out of her. And I was like, that is gross. That is some nasty crap. Um, so, yeah, and then it, it just gets to the point where they're, you know, the, the whole superstitious stuff. Uh, I mean, I I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I do I like the fact that they try to tell Captain Vega, like, you know, try to say goodbye, try to do this, but to do it in a superstitious kind of way, that kind of just like threw me off a little bit. Um, now, when Judd ended up seeing this right here, I actually thought that was because it was like some type of animal or something like that. And then turned out it was radiation. And then I actually thought, it's in Texas, so maybe there's some type of illegal oil dumping. And it turns out it was nothing like that. The guy was basically dead from radiation. And then the girl is just right there. With a lot of radiation burns. And oh my god, it was just... Hold up, let me see if I can actually... There it is, right here. Right here. Oh, I missed it. Right there. Oh, and up here. Yeah, she got burned really, really bad. And then it, what I did like about it is that it actually went back and it actually explained. So, I mean, the episode was actually pretty good. The whole superstitious stuff, I didn't, you know, it just wasn't for me. But I did enjoy the episode. It was funny. It was good. Um, I know people are telling me that episode eight is possibly the best one that's coming up i don't know about episode seven so i know i'm very very behind but thank you guys for continuing to watch these reactions thank you for continuing to support the channel i'm i'm trying to get caught up as much as i can i'm just very very busy but definitely believe i am gonna upload all of these i am gonna react to every single 911 911 lone star and I know I've said that a bunch of times, but I've been sticking with it, even though I'm late. So thank you guys for continuing to watch these reactions. I truly appreciate it. So let me know what you guys think about this, this video. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment. And especially do not forget to subscribe. I'll definitely catch you on the next one. All right. Peace.